So how do you help your kid with math facts the best? Or how do you use these triangle math facts cards to help your kid memorize their math facts the best? Now, as a teacher for 21 years, I can assure you um, that one of the most important things that your child can do right around third, fourth grade, definitely by fifth grade, is to memorize their multiplication math facts. As they move on through math, nothing becomes more crucial. Nothing becomes more difficult when they don't have them to try to solve a problem if they have to calculate what 7 times 8 is. If they know what it is right away, they will move through these problems a heck of a lot easier. You know that. So let's, let's show you how to do them. Um, you need a set of triangle multiplication math facts, and I've included a link in this video for a free website that has a PDF for you. Um, I like these because they're, they're small, you'll be close with your child, and you're working on them, and you can they will really help, as you can see. So what you want to do is take about 10 to 20 of them out of the set, just from random. Grab, grab 10 or 20. Um, and before I show you this, you want to do this once a day only, but do it every day, all right? If your child's getting really interested in it, maybe you could do it twice a day, but if you start doing it too much, they might start fighting, they might start resisting, and it might not work for you very well. But once a day, every day, consistently, and within a couple weeks, they're going to have them all memorized. So take some from random. You want to make sure the product, two factors are down here. The product is the answer. It's up on top. You want to make sure it's covered when you show them the card. Okay. If they don't give you the answer, they look at it. If you need to, you can say 8 times 2, 2 times 8. If you wanted to, you could go through the skip counting, or you you know, you know count 2, 4, 6. You could show them that if you want, um, and sometimes that's a good way to go. Or the other thing you could do is just say, okay, the answer was 16, and then cover one of the factors and see if they can tell you which one is missing. 16 divided by 2 is now the question. You can tell them that. And hopefully they'll remember that it was 8, and then go and cover the other factor. Well, now it's 16 divided by 8. What was that? Oh, that was 2. And then before you let it go away, remember, this is really important if they didn't get it the first time, ask them one more time, what's 8 times 2? So they'll tell you 16. Now, this goes to the back of the stack because they didn't have it memorized. Okay? Now, what if you show them 1 and right away they say 49? Okay? Let's make sure. They should tell you 7. 7. They give you all three answers, all three answers right away. They don't need this one anymore. You could put it away. Keep going. And you go through this until you've gone through all 10 or 20 cards at least once, maybe twice for the ones that they didn't get. Okay. Now, when we get back to this one, they didn't get it the first time. Next time you show it to them in the same sitting, if they get it, that's great. Go through all of them every single time. If they give you the product, always cover one of the factors. Make sure they can give you that. But if they didn't get it the first time and they get it the second time, it doesn't mean you put it down. That one needs to stay in there until the next day or maybe even the next day after that. You want to make sure they have it in their long-term memory, not their short-term, because they will memorize it within the few seconds that they get this. Um, every day, 10 to 20 cards, go through it. They will memorize them. Hopefully you've got a teacher in school who's showing them the arrays or doing something to let them see what the um, concrete representation for this is. But maybe I'll do that in another video. Um, this is really important. Just help them with their math facts, get through these, print these cards, cut them out, and your child will have them memorized in no time. Good luck. Happy parenting.